One of the things I've learned over the years is that small changes can make a huge impact. So today I'm going to be talking about the 25 small changes and improvements I've made in my life over the past couple of years, especially as an ADHDer who is constantly looking for different hacks. I want to share them with you today, what I've done, my little tiny little hacks that have really, really improved my life. So make sure to subscribe for more videos about ADHD, Notion, productivity, and let's just move into this. So I'm going to split these into kind of three different categories, just like I split my 13 pillars into three. We've got home, then we've got work and business, and then we've got, I'm, I'm actually calling this more health, um, which is kind of like the third one, which is more like mind and body. So that's kind of the main three that I'm doing. So I'll start with home, then I'll move into work and then finish with mind and body. And I actually have most with that category. Uh, so you can check out below all the different um, parts. So you can definitely cut to whatever you want and let's get started. Okay, so let's start with home. So this first one is kind of a unique one. And again, maybe it doesn't work for everyone, but so I don't know about you, but I love getting coffee. What, wherever I go, I always like getting this little cup but it gets so expensive to buy coffee these days. So one of the things that I realized is twofold. Number one, I love these cups so much that it's like I'm spending the money to just have this in my hand. So why not just buy the cups themselves? So I went to Costco, bought a bag of these, like over a hundred of them. And now whenever I make my chai, I just put it in this and it makes me feel like I've gone to the coffee shop. I know it's a mindset thing, but also when I used to put it in mugs around my house, I would like leave them sitting around and then they would get all moldy and gross and then I have to wash them. This used to be a really big issue with me. So for me, having a disposable cup that I can just throw away is really, really helpful personally. But for me as someone who has ADHD, like having a solution that makes me, um, you know, spend less money at the coffee shop and have less like gross mugs around my house has really made a difference in my life. Okay, number two, this is actually a more recent thing. If you're an iPhone user, I recently decided to switch to the MagSafe chargers. I love it because you can just pop them on and it's great because when I used to have the little tiny little chargers, I felt like I could never get them in. They were really finicky and they would always break. So for me, having MagSafe chargers, um, they're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like they last longer and they're easy to just, just kind of smack on the back. You can also buy cases that have MagSafe options as well. I really, really like it. And so that's something I've recently switched to. Okay, here's another thing in the kitchen. So I had this issue, I'm kind of klutzy and clumsy, so I kept breaking all of my dishes. They were glass or whatever. And so I wanted something that I could still use but wasn't super breakable, was still healthy and good for the environment. So I switched to something called wheatgrass plates. These are great, they're on Amazon. I got them in multiple sizes. I have them in bowls. I have them in cups and they are recycled. So they're really good for the environment. So they actually are similar to plastic, but they're not plastic and they can actually be put in both the dishwasher and the microwave. So for me, as someone who doesn't want to have a breakable glass, uh, having these wheatgrass plates has been a game changer in my life. I never have to worry about breaking them and they've been super, super great. They're also really fun in different colors. So highly recommend wheatgrass plates on Amazon. Okay, number four, if you know me, you know I love my air fryer. I got my air fryer maybe three years ago and it has been a game changer. I also got the Instant Pot, but I like the air fryer so much more. I use it for a ton of different quick meals. Um, I've done some videos on this channel about some of the meals that I make and maybe I'll make some more. But honestly, as someone who doesn't have a lot of patience to turn the oven on, I love my air fryer. And if you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. I have a Kosari uh, brand and I have had no issues with it for the last couple of years. Okay, this is a new purchase of mine last year and I'm gonna be doing a video on it and that is my laminator. I bought a laminator from Target and it has been a game changer for me. I can laminate different things. I actually have a recipe card thing that I have in my kitchen that I've laminated. I've laminated my to-do list. We'll be doing a whole video on this, but I thought it was really, really cool to get a laminator that's like a real one. It actually presses your paper. Um, it allows you to write on paper. So for those of us who don't like to waste paper, we can definitely use a laminator. I've talked about this on multiple videos, but I switched to clear storage after finding out that I had ADHD and it has been really helpful. I like to see what's in all of my storage, otherwise I won't remember that it's there. There obviously are different types of people. You've probably seen this graphic 
different types of people who like to store things in different ways. I personally like the idea of clear storage. So since 2020, I have only purchased clear containers. It works for me because it, again, allows me to see what's in all of my storage. Okay, this is a recent one and I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing a full video on this. I recently had a color analysis done. You might have seen it on like Sophia Nygaard's channel or all across the internet where people go in and they have the different color scarves and then a professional lets them know what color they are. I'm not gonna share what I am yet, but I have gone shopping and I've now bought in clothes. This actually, this shirt is in my color palette as well as my lipstick. I found out I need to be doing a lot more coral colors due to my hair, my skin, and my eye color. So I'm really excited to show you guys that video. It's coming up soon. But what this has done for me is when I went shopping, I had literally all the swatches and it allows me to know exactly what colors I should be buying. This has eliminated so much analysis paralysis and so much like, mm, should I buy this? It's like, oh, it fits in my color palette. It looks good on me. I highly recommend it. You guys are going to save so much money in the long run by hiring someone to just tell you what your colors are. Then you have so much less options to choose from and it actually makes it so much easier to go shopping. So I would say both men and women should do this. So definitely look for someone in your area and see if you can get it done in person. It's so much better than doing it virtually. Okay, going alongside of that, one of the things I've also started doing, a lot of people think this is weird, but I buy the same thing in multiple colors or I just buy the same thing over and over again. If I like a outfit or a shirt or something, I will buy it again because I know I'm gonna wear it. Um, there's a lot of shirts I wear that I just, I buy once and I'm like, oh, I don't like that. But if there's a shirt that I'm constantly being tugged towards and it's from like maybe a chain store where there's multiple colors, I will go back and buy more colors. This has happened so many times. I have so many of the same outfit that I'll just wear over and over again. Um, Target is actually one that I, I love their high neckline tanks and their t-shirts. I go to Target a lot for a lot of different clothes. And what I love is I can even check on my app. This is another thing I like to do. I do the drive up at Target. I will buy it with my Target red card, just drive on up and I get it delivered to me in like five minutes. Otherwise it gets shipped to me if it's out of stock. Getting a Target red card, I didn't even add this to the my list but getting a target red card and using the drive up is a game changer for me it saves me so much time i don't have to go into target i already know that it's going to be in stock because it will tell me before i drive up and it's just so slick and it's free if you have the target red card which all it is is a debit card so i'm a big target girl i live in minneapolis where target is based and so i'm just i love going to target and that's one of my that's one of my favorite things this one, um, you know, I bought this house two years ago and I've been living here. And one of the things that I've recently switched to is obviously smart appliances. So anytime I replace a light bulb, I will get one that I can control from my phone. I use an app that actually allows me to check, okay, are all the lights off? Um, I also have a garage door um, sensor that lets me know if the garage door has been open or not. It, it sends me an alert. I have a ring camera. I love having smart appliances because it lets me know what's going on in my house. And that's been really, really helpful. Okay, this last one in the home category is kind of a funny one, but it actually is really, really important. So as a society, we have really hurt our feet um, by wearing really enclosed sh uh, shoes. Um, and so our toes actually get kind of scrunched up and that's actually not good for our posture and just our overall health. So I was reading this book, um, it was called, I think it's called like Alignment Matters. And she was talking about getting some toe separator socks. And I was like, okay. So I bought them on Amazon, you guys. I wear them at night now or like when I'm just like in the house and they separate your toes out and they make my toes feel so good because sometimes my toes get kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. They just get kind of clenched and they get kind of, they kind of cramp on themselves. And this has really allowed me to just really have better, healthier toes. So getting some toe separator socks, I got them for like eight bucks on Amazon. Highly recommend. All right, now we're moving into like work and like stuff for productivity because this is also very helpful for hacks. So the first one, um, obviously, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, check out my 13 pillars video. That is the one video I'd recommend you watch. It is about my 13 pillar system that I've sort of like Frankenstein into its own system. I also teach a course on it. I have a live training coming up as well, um, but this has really, really changed my life. Um, organizing everything into 13 pillars is just a game changer. It's all color coordinated and everything, and it's just been so, so helpful for me as a human um, in my entire productivity process. Okay, this next one is actually a really, really big one, and you might have seen my video on this, but Notion Calendar recently came out, and I have been using it a lot. It is such a game changer to align 
my Notion tasks with the stuff that's actually on my calendar. So if you haven't checked it out, also check out my Notion calendar video. I do a full walkthrough on how to use it. And I just, I actually do use it right now. It's really awesome. Okay, this is another company that I absolutely love and I have been working with them personally, but also I, I use them myself a lot. And that is Flow Club. If you haven't checked out Flow Club, it is an awesome, I actually have a link down below where you can sign up for two free weeks. Um, it's This is actually not a sponsored video, but I just like shouting them out because they're awesome. Um, and they are an affiliate of mine, but uh, Flow Club is a, online service that basically is a co-working or a body doubling service where you just join sessions and you kind of get your work done. Um, somebody starts the session and kind of asks you what your goals are for that hour or 90 minutes or whatever. I've actually recently become a guide myself so you can come and join. I'll have a link below where you can see when I'm doing upcoming sessions if you want to join me. Um, but that has been a really, really big game changer for me. Flow Club is such a great company. I absolutely love it. And you can definitely check out all the links below on that. Okay, the next one is AI tools. I don't know about you but I love AI I I love it I, I'm a little scared of it I don't know if you saw all this stuff with the new stuff coming from Sora aka video chat GPT stuff it's a little scary but I think for a lot of little things it's really helpful for me to kind of just get out of my head especially as an ADHD or AI can be so helpful for automations and ideation and kind of just consolidating all your thoughts. I've also been very into like some of the image AIs that have been so fun. Um, just coming up with some cool images for myself, just kind of get me out of my head. Okay, this is a big one that I did this year, last year, and that is creating a separate email just for newsletters. So I have an email that is specifically for newsletters and it is so helpful because I don't have to worry that if I'm giving someone my email that they're gonna start spamming me. It's literally in the separate inbox. A lot of people call it a junk mail or junk email. For me, I actually do look at it though because I subscribe to newsletters on purpose that I wanna read. So for me, um, it actually has like my name and it says email newsletters in the, in the actual email. So for me, it's just, it's easy for me to separate that from all of my actual important emails. So for me, that has been a game changer. Okay, this is also a game changer pro for productivity. I've mentioned it before and that is my phone lockbox. I absolutely love this thing because sometimes I get really addicted to my phone and so I can actually lock this up for a set amount of time. It will literally lock it and it won't let me use it again. A lot of people find this kind of funny, but for me it actually is a necessary thing and I have had it for at least six months now and I actually use it at least once. Okay, so this actually might be kind of the opposite of what I just said, but I actually just purchased my second phone. So now I have two phones. People are probably like, why do you have two phones? Well, if you didn't know, I create a lot of content here in the Twin Cities. I have a ton of local clients. And so sometimes I'm filming content and I'm like, well, I wanna have two angles. Um, and because I'm not a traditional videographer and I do have two um, uh, cameras as well, I was like, I need like a second angle, so why not buy a second phone? So now I have two phones. I also, this is the thing people ask me the most about. It is a stabilizer. You can see it that I use this all the time. It is not only a stabilizer that has like a tripod legs, right? But it also, you can also just pop your phone in here. This is probably, this should have been added to this list. So all I do is I turn it on. Oh, this one's dead. But basically you turn it on and then it, you can like, basically it like stabilizes as you're walking. Isn't that crazy? I have two of these as well. 100 bucks on Amazon. It is probably the my most asked about product that I, people on the street come up and ask me about because I use it so much. Absolutely worth it. It's from DJI, it's the DJI Mobile SE. Absolutely amazing. And the last one, obviously I've talked about this a million times on my channel, but again, I have to thank them again. Google Photos is absolutely my favorite app besides Notion. Those are the two apps I probably use the most and FG Funnels, those are like, again, it's like one of those three I'm probably on. I actually recently have started looking into a few different softwares to track how long I'm in certain apps. I'll let you guys know, I'm, tra I'm trying about four or five of them right now, and I'll let you guys know I'm gonna be doing a whole video on my favorite time tracking apps, but we'll see how long I actually spend in all these because I'm so curious what my favorite apps are. Now we're moving into the final section, and this is on health. So as you know, I've been on a health journey the last couple of years, not only for my weight, but also for my skin. I have really bad acne and lately it's been really, really bad. So I'm just like, what is going on? I think what has happened is lately I've just been kind of snacking a lot and I just haven't been really paying attention to my health. So I'm really, really gonna start focusing on it again. Something that it's very easy for me to gain weight. So it's like, all right, I'm constantly going up and down. But for me, it's all about the food that I eat and, and just the, the stuff in my life. I have been really working on it the last couple of years. So the 
first one that I actually love, and this is something that I started doing last year when I got into fasting, I'm actually fasting today, is Element Water. Now, I have prob you probably heard of Element on different podcasts and stuff. I actually use this. I just bought a 30 pack from Amazon of just the, I think it's the watermelon kind. But the Element, basically what it is, is it's, um, it adds sodium and magnesium to your water. When you're thirsty, sometimes when you just drink water, you need actually salt as well. So that's where it kind of, it's an electrolyte drink, but it doesn't have a lot of excess sugars like some of them do, like Crystal Light and that sort of thing. So it's flavored, which I don't always love. I kind of wish I got the flavorless one, but I use it, because, especially right now in the winter, it gets very, very dry here. So I get very, very dehydrated, very thirsty. So I've been drinking a lot of Element Water and you can get them on Amazon, highly recommend. Okay, this is another thing that I'm really into. You might not know about this. Um, in Minnesota, uh, saunas are huge right now. I have been part of the sauna culture for the last four years. They recently opened up an outdoor camp. My friend Luis runs it and uh, it's been going viral. It was just in the New York Times um, last week. And so I've been very, very involved in the sauna culture. I just bought my first sauna hat. I have booties to wear in the ice bath. So I do both ice bath and sauna. And that has just been so good. Um, you feel such a natural high after doing it. It helps your skin. There's just lots of benefits to it. I might do a full video on it at some point. I'm just very involved in that culture. I, I share a lot about it on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram at Jenna Redfield, if you want to follow me, I share a lot about my sauna experiences. So go check that out and make sure to, uh, if you're ever in Minnesota, let me know. I'll send you all the links to all the sauna places. Okay, this is a big one. Walking every single day. I have been doing this since the pandemic, since 2020. I try to get, I, I've been trying to get 5,000 minimum, but now I think I'm going to move it up to 7,500 just because, um, again, I'm trying to like get back on my weight loss journey. I love walking. And in the winter here in Minnesota, you know, I have my little treadmill here. I've got a treadmill at Planet Fitness. But for me, I actually found an indoor track that I go to every single day. And it has been so helpful because it feels like I'm actually walking around in the winter. It's been so nice because it gets really, really cold here and I can't really walk outside. So walking every day, if you can do it, if you can walk, walk. It is one of the best things for you. It is so good for your mental health. It's good for your physical health. Walk, 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 walk. This is kind of going into some of the stuff I've talked about a little bit with when it comes to food. I like to eat the same thing every day. I know this sounds weird, but like for me as someone who isn't great at cooking, having kind of like the same thing every day. For example, I have the exact same salad for lunch every day and I know exactly which ingredients goes in it. I've actually had the same uh, oatmeal recipe for the last two years. I'm actually probably going to go away from it just because I realized I need to eat something savory for breakfast after reading the book glucose revolution, but I really, really love having like the same thing every day and then maybe having one meal where it's different just because it allows me to know exactly that everything is in my kitchen that I need, all the ingredients and I know how to make it and I don't have to even just make that decision. Again, yet another thing I don't have to make a decision on. So moving on to the next one. So I recently read Glucose Revolution. This book changed my life because it talks so much about uh, the order in which you eat your food, you know, adding apple cider to your meals, basically how to stop these insulin spikes. And one of the things is to have a savory breakfast. So I'm gonna be switching to that. There's just a lot of things that I have learned from that book and you should definitely read it if you're on a health journey. Two more things when it comes to food and health. Um, number one, cycle syncing. I've done a couple of videos on this, on the menstrual cycle. I didn't really know much about the menstrual cycle before, uh, about two years ago, I really have been on a journey and really knowing where I'm at in my cycle has been super helpful. You can just watch those videos. I know that's not for everyone, but watch those videos. I'll have it linked below. And then the last one is something called the daily dozen. This is what you should be eating every day. I think it's very uh, helpful. It's also, I think, somewhat manageable for most people. Basically like eat more beans, eat more uh, vegetables, uh, you know, have some turmeric. Like there's just a lot of things on this list that it's like, if you're hitting like everything on this list, I think you're doing really well. I've really been trying to do this every day and it, it can be hard at times, but like this to me is like the best diet you can be on. It's not removing things, it's adding all of these to your diet is super helpful. So anyways, that is my 25, maybe plus a couple more uh, hacks. I think that these are all super, super useful for people. Some of them are things that are new to my life. Some of them I've been doing for the last couple of years. So anyways, I hope that this, it was helpful for you guys in any way. 
and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Follow me on all my socials. I'm active basically everywhere. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.